We are back now with Johnny's Barn. A uh, big week coming up. I know Century Invictus was good the other day. Never would have thought that horse would whack out a mile and 55 and just get beat. Uh, more of a follower, but thought he raced good the other night. So we'll start with Arches Rainbow. She's racing tomorrow. A lot of questions swirling around. Mischievous Rose and Arches Rainbow. I believe they'll start to be take shape and be answered tomorrow. We will see how that happens. But our Tuesday, sorry, Tuesday. But Arches Rainbow, uh, I expect big things from this filly all season long. This is her first start, so I also have to temper my expectations when it comes to her on Tuesday. Flat line, no mucus, no airway with inflamed inflammation or redness, maybe some money. That would be great for me on Tuesday. Blue Bayou Dio had a big splint crowd. She's going to miss a week. She'll be back at it next week. And then shortly after that, heading to Kentucky, I believe. Uh, Century Invictus raced great the other day. Johnny is this horse so good. Him and Teresa do a great job with this colt. You know, we had a lot of questions. You know, is he good enough? What's he going to be like? Is he going to come to life? Then he paced 55 twice now. Took a mark of 2-1 in the mud. Decent colt. Can't wait to see how he races the rest of the season. Mischievous Rose, they said. Her and Arches Rainbow. A lot of questions there. They'll start to be answered on Tuesday. i got big, big, big hopes for Mischievous Rose. Northern Blizzard tonight in Ottawa. Uh, head him to the vet. His vet bill does stay a little high right now. He's got a lot of issues that we're working our way through. But at the same time, his biggest issue was he bled his last start insignificantly. So on the Lazex program now, should be a good night for him. I don't know what the track conditions like. I don't know whether what the weather's. I don't know what the weather's like. But I wish James and Johnny good luck in Ottawa. Resolute Bay, great first start for him. Pat, one of our clients, said, "Why wouldn't you race him right back?" I don't because we don't want to. I don't want to race the horse every week. This horse, the same reason I told Bob that he's not in the gold. This colt still looks a little small, a little immature. Mentally, he's figured it out. That was a big reason. That was a big thing with him. Remember when horses would go by him training, he'd make breaks. Coming out of the last turn, he would make breaks. He's not doing that now. So mentally, this horse has learned. He's got there. So allow him to mature physically. The grassroots is the place for him. Johnny didn't want to, nor did I want to, or James. Race him back. Seven days, you know, Grand River, Grand River, grassroots. No, Grand River train at Mohawk quietly and grassroots it's the start of his career hopefully a long illustrious career for us so Resolute Bay uh, good luck with them coming up the grassroots this week twinkle in her eyes certainly look like she came to life too man oh man it's easy to say those betters delights they come to life when they see the gate okay but they still got to see the gate they still got to come to life and Century Invictus clearly did and Twinkle and her eye looked great the other night. Finished up very, very strong. So, again, great job by Travis and uh, Johnny to have Twinkle and her eye second in the grassroots. And then Will to win Hanover. Again, I'll keep mentioning her because she still is at the burn. Not turned out yet. Uh, we'll get an updated x-ray on her this in a week or so, two weeks maybe. But I suspect she's fully healed. Um, we may turn her out. We may even integrate some pool work with her also. But she'll be turned out for another couple of months. We'll start her back in the fall uh, and aim for March of 2022, maybe February, March of April 2020, or February, March, or April of 2022 for our girl, Will, to win Hanover. That's Johnny's Barn. All our barns have had success this summer, virtually everywhere. We've had a great, great season. So uh, can't wait to see what the rest of it looks like. Be back in just a minute with all the small barns.